Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to implement the selector in a block, which we don't have a, a like a separate widget in a block. We will be having the selector widget in our, our provider. So we'll see how to implement in our uh, Flutter block. So let's get started. So here I'm going to create a custom class for uh, creating the pro selector here. I'll be naming it as a T selector and uh, one second we'll just it likes I will just create a stateless widget and I'll just name it as a C selector we have to import the material okay so now uh, we'll be having that type here now right now I'm just uh, I'm gonna uh, like uh, listen to the only one variable so I'm just I'm gonna use it as a only one so T and E okay and uh, I'll be getting the parameters called uh, widget of function inside that will be having a build context and the variable E so I'll name it as a builder okay so after that I'll be getting the E value here with a function T so I'll just name it as a selector okay so pass it in a constructor so I'll just give a required field Okay, so inside the build, I wanna use a value context dot select. So for select, you have to import the block here. Make sure that you have imported the block, so otherwise it won't come. So I'm gonna use a select and. Uh, Inside the uh, select, I'm gonna give the type of T E. So we'll just pass it to the callback as selector, and uh, inside the return, we'll just return the builder which is comes from the user side and the context. We we'll pass the context and the latest value of the particular value is changed so yeah so we have completed the custom selector here so we'll see how to use it in the screen okay so here so just import our custom selector class here so see the selector We'll be just getting the context context I guess model just pass the, the screen block here and uh, we'll be giving the return type also so for now I'll just give a bool here so we'll be getting that block model here I'll just name it as block so you can give the condition here block state is user screen loading state okay so this is the boolean this will be returning and uh, we'll just give the builder here context the latest value of it I'll just I'll just return as enter so color progress indicator 
so if values of false we just return an empty container here so yeah guys so we have finished the selector here so uh, this widget only rebuilds when the state is changed to loading state then only this widget will be called so if you want to like show the particular widget in the that that widget will be based on the particular values changes so you can easily uh, achieve it by using the selector so uh, since we don't have a selector in a block so we have created a have created a, some custom selector class here so you can also use it to achieve that and yeah so that's it for the today's video guys we'll see you in next video stay tuned bye